everybody, uh, just here with a quick uh, TTT, or Time Temperature Transformation Diagram talk. Uh, and this is partly because uh, we have been seeing in various places, hearing from various people, uh, issues with blades breaking uh, during straightening. Uh, now, uh, just to go over what the diagram is, we've got temperature, on the vertical axis, time on the horizontal axis. You can look up TTT diagrams. There's quite a few of them out there. You can probably find one for the steel you use. Uh, Kevin Cashin has some on his website uh, for some of the more common steels, so that's a good resource to uh, look into. Basically, we've got, uh, I've noted on here, critical, roughly, uh, 1450 Fahrenheit. Changes depending on the steel, but we'll just go with it for now. Uh, 900 degrees becomes uh, important for reasons we'll get into later. And then we have down here um, sort of a band between, say, 400 and 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, again, I'm not, uh, not dealing in exact numbers here, just kind of some generalities. Uh, one common aspect of the TTT diagram is uh, what we call the nose of the curve. Basically, uh, if you are at 1450, you've got austenite, you quench. If you pass in front of the nose of the curve, you have the possibility of getting full martensite. If you come in front of the nose and then you go straight flat, well, you're not going to get full martensite. That's a whole different bag. We're not talking about it today. Uh, if you pass in front of the nose of the curve, make it down through this band, you, you should all things being equal, have essentially full martensite. Uh, if you pass through this curve somewhere, you're going to get mixed structures. Um, so we're gonna leave all that aside. All we're talking about today is what this diagram says about straightening your blade during the quench. Um, so you're up here at critical, you've got austenite, you quench, you miss the nose of the curve, good job. You've, you, chosen the appropriate quench uh, for your steel. Um, now, you've got this window of opportunity here uh, during which you can essentially air cool the steel um, and the steel has not yet transformed to martensite. It's actually quite soft. You can make adjustments. You know, if that initial quench, something was a little uneven, the, your blade has bent, well, in this range, you can straighten that out some. But keep in mind, it should be really easy. The steel should be incredibly soft, surprisingly soft. You should be able to, if you are wearing heavy enough gloves, you should be able to manipulate it with your hands. You should be able to bend it straight with your hands. As soon as you are fighting against that steel, if it is resisting, it's too late. Let it go, let it drop all the way down, become martensite, straighten during the temper cycles. There's a lot of straightening that can be done during the temper cycles uh, in sort of worst case scenario or best case scenario, depending on how uh, you look at this. Uh, you can do a soft back draw, straighten it then. You can do a spring back draw, straighten it then. You can just do normal temper cycles, straighten it then. Uh, if you if you do get it right, you know, if you, if you can uh, straighten during this portion, that's great. Good for you. Uh, Kevin Cashin, for example, does a lot of straightening of his swords during that, uh, sword blades during that range. He also is quenching uh, often into uh, low temperature molten salt. So he knows exactly what temperature he's at. He knows he is in this zone. <laughs> And I've watched him straighten uh, during a demo, watched him straighten a sword. Yeah, it was almost like putty. So if, you know, I've, al I've also done this myself. I don't have molten salts, but you know, you can, you can judge this reasonably well. But if the steel is resisting, it's no longer safe to straighten it. Let it harden, get it in the temper cycle. Uh, that's it for today. Today, this was just a, a quick video, a um, little bit of information. We have our 
uh, sorts through the centuries event this weekend. We'll be getting uh, some footage from some of the really great demos uh, we're going to have going on during that. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, a lot of great demonstrators coming in, um, and uh, yeah, so we'll we'll have some videos of that uh, in the coming weeks and months. We are also going to try to do some live streaming during the weekend, so uh, make sure you check that out. And um, yeah. I uh, hope this helped some. Like I said, go ahead, go look these up. Find the, uh, find the graph for your steel. Uh, <clears throat> just as a, a quick additional piece of information, this uh, right here, that space, essentially tells you what type of quench you need to do. Uh, water hardening steels have a really tight space there. Uh, oil hardening a little further out. Air hardening, well, you know, well out of the way. Um, so find the TTT diagram for your steel. Make sure you're using the right quench for it. There's, there is no reason that you can't skirt pretty close to that nose. Uh, it makes no difference once you get down here. Uh, you're not going to be looking at um, an incredibly different structure uh, because you, you know, it's like water hardening, water quenching, oil hardening steels doesn't make them better. Um, that water quench doesn't, uh, doesn't, doesn't change uh, what the steel wants to do other than adding a lot of extra stress that it didn't need. Um, <clears throat> other thing, just as a note in case, you know, because I don't have it on here, uh, the, uh, the time scale is logarithmic, meaning that it's going to go one second, 10 seconds, 100 seconds, etc. Uh, so, it's a little odd that the temperature side is just uh, a linear scale and that the time side is a logarithmic scale. But, so just make sure that you are looking at uh, what the actual numbers are on the time side. Uh, otherwise, it can look like, oh god, I gotta, I gotta quench this a lot faster than you actually do. So, um, take a look at that. Hope this was helpful, and like I said, uh, check out the uh, Swords Through the Centuries uh, videos that we'll be posting soon. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.